I think be, to become a fermenter, it's not uh, words like easy are not uh, the first words that you think of. Um, but then again, I mean, it's also like, come on, I mean, why does everything just have to be so easy? It, it, once you get past the point uh, of gaining the knowledge, which is the most difficult bit in, t in the first trial and error period, then it actually becomes easy and then with time much easier. Um, there, will, there are some, though, that are relatively easy, I'd say. Lactic uh, fermentation of berries, that's a simple process. You need salt, you need a berry, and then you need a crock or what do you call it? A, a ball jar. A ball jar. A mason jar. A mason jar, exactly. And then uh, that's really easy. And that's also very practical. You can use it for a lot of things. And that's a way to use your surplus berries uh, or fruit for that matter. Some of the best ones that, that, that will give delight to any kitchen. I feel 110% confident in saying that. Some of the meat garums, particularly the roasted chicken wing garum which, you know, turns into this liquid that, is, that sits between that, the stickiness that's uh, on the bottom of the sheet pan when you roast a good chicken and soy sauce and acidity at the same time. And then there's more to it that's unexplicable because that's what fermentation does to you. There's also like a, a, a natural sweetness, you know. It's a perfect brew together. And drops of that into almost anything makes it better. The leftover brines from lactic ferments. While the berries and the vegetables are great themselves, if you're fermenting fruit or making pickles, just the juice that's left over is remarkably, remarkably useful and satisfying. Uh, we use a, uh, a suggestion that comes up a lot in the book is to bathe shellfish in it. Mm -hmm. You know, using that over just freshly cooked clams or a freshly shocked oyster. Um, but just for vinaigrettes uh, in salads, mm -hmm. you know, um, it provides its own acidity, seasoning. All you need is a really good quality oil to split it with, and then it's done. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, that's the best part because it is a two for one. You know, you have your fruit that you can eat or cook with, turn into a puree, you know, dry into a leather. Um, you have that amazing fermented product in itself, and then you have this amazing liquor that then goes on to any application where you would use vinegar or want acidity and savoriness at the same time.